physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we, are, together, we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, Bob, in our opinion, of course. Yeah, that's always true. Today, <laughs> we're going to talk about how to treat arthritis of the knee oh. with stretching. This I'm going to say right now at the beginning here, Brad. This is all based on the work of Robin McKenzie. Right. And it's this book, Treat Your Own Knee. This is the best book I've seen on for the layperson. Sure. On treating your knee. I, I I can't think of it a, a close second. Well, and that's what he's written it for. Yeah. Yep. And I, they've just updated it and added extra exercise, a little better for t- photography probably, and. Uh, photography. Yeah. What's that got to do with knees? Well, it's got pictures. Oh, pictures! I like yeah. it already. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you gotta be able to know is are the stretches helping you? And right. so when you're doing it, you should, as you do the stretches, the the pain levels should either get more narrow, localized, as far as location. Yeah. Instead of the whole knee hurting more around the knee. So often the, the knee joint. might hurt here mm-hmm. and then go down sure. the leg. If it's it doesn't go down the leg as much, it's improving. Yeah, we call that referred pain. It refers out. From the source. It maybe feels better afterwards even. Sure, right. Now, if it gets worse while you're doing it, mm. it's not correct. Right. It's not appropriate. Especially if it's a sharp pain. You know, I mean, with the exception of maybe if it centralizes and right. when you get done, it feels better. Uh, but you can't get too aggressive with it if it's irritating. Uh, explain again what centralization is, Brad. Oh, uh, yeah. So if the... You know, your knee hurts and it refers pain down your leg. You do the stretch. Say we do this stretch and it hurts more here but less down the leg. Right. And then after you're done, it still feel, it feels better and less down here. Maybe a little bit more here. Overall, it's better. Then you're okay. Generally, as a rule of thumb, that's how pain works. Right. The worse it's getting, the more it spreads out. Exactly. The better it's getting, the more it narrows up. It comes together. If it does hurt while you're doing it, it makes it worse, maybe spreads out more, uh, you don't do it. Right. Also, if it hurts more afterwards, you know, soreness is fine, but not pain. Right. Right. Yep. So all exercises, and we're going to show you seven of them, you don't need to do all seven. No. You'll be doing maybe one or two at a time Yep. Uh, during a day, but they all should be done throughout the day. Sure. Like four to six times for often 10 repetitions. Now, they may ask, well, how do I know which of the seven? You simply go through it and try each one yes. of them, and you'll find out, you'll say, obviously this one, wow, that makes it feel better. It, it centralizes it. Other ones is like, oh, this is, or it's hard to right. do mechanically or physically. Um, so We're looking you'll know. for the effective ones. Yep. So let's start with the first one, Brad. Just plain old knee extension. This is a great one for you to do, especially if you work at a desk. I just want you to go ahead and straighten your knee and tighten the muscle. Right. So knee extension means straighten yeah. the knee. Get it you're, straight. You're as... getting a little bit of strengthening. You get some motion in the knee. Mm-hmm. It's just this is one you could keep doing because it, it doesn't take much. Yeah. And it's it's really good for your, your knee no matter even if you don't have problems right now. You should be doing this one. It, we have one for static with this as well coming up. Yes, okay. for stretching. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that one's an easy one to do. Again, you can do it throughout the day. Next one, knee flexion from a seated position. Do you want to show the side ankle, Brad? Sure. So all you're going to do is you're going to grab the knee like this, and you're going to stretch it up like this. Yeah. Now, on the when you're sitting in a chair like that, often if you scoot the butt forward. Yeah, and you kind of lean back. We don't promote this for posture, but for little periods of time, no big right. deal. And, and then you kind of relax. And where you put your hand position, either here, sometimes it works better down on the shin. Uh, you do what seems to work best. A little pressure on, yeah. pressure off, 10 times, and mm. there you go. And then hit it again maybe an hour later. Yep. Here's mm. a little variation of that. This helps gap the joint. Sure. So I think I'm going to have you show up, Brad. Yeah. You're just going to put the towel under the knee, cap, under the knee and you're going to do the same thing. Right up in the crux of the knee, you're going to get it, and it'll stay there. If you're like me, my knee bends pretty good. You, if you've got knee problems, you probably right. won't be able to do right. that. But you know, yeah, Brad, you got good bending there. Well, yeah, I've been, I was bending them this morning, Bob. Yeah. I'm a, Very I'm a good. knee bender. You can also do knee flexion on the chair, you can actually stand, and you're going to actually lean forward like this. This is a little more aggressive one. I would try the other one first seated. Before you do this one, yep. how does yours feel on this, Brad? 
Good. It, this is really nice if you have a chair like this with armrests. Right. Because you're, you're much more stable. You know, and if you've got a soft, cushy, cushy chair, that doesn't work as well. It's best to have a firm seat pan. Uh, like here, you can see my foot sinks right in. I'm afraid I might even kind of wreck my chair. I'm going to go off to the side where there's a frame. Now, here's the advanced oh. version of that, Brad, is you actually take the towel and do it the, along with standing. Yeah, so we're going to put this in there. And again, this should feel good. Right. If it doesn't feel good, you're not going to yeah. do it. And with me, it feels good to a certain point, and then if I put pressure on it, eh, it's not so good, so I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to be, and that's where the armrests really help for control. All the ones we've been showing you so far, except for number one, which was, was straightening, mm -hmm. these are all on bending the knee, especially important if you lack bending for some reason. Right, If right. you find, if you check the two knees out, and one bends better than the other, Yep. It might just be the feel, even like you go. This one feels a little bit tighter. Yeah. In other words, it's you get to a certain point and it just stops, as opposed to being kind of squishy. Right. We call that an end feel. Typically, when it just stops and you're not, it's all being the way blocked up. and and you need to stretch it. Yeah. And that's why the towel might help. Yes. Um, now we're going the other direction. Let's say the knee doesn't mm. straighten as well as it should. Let's say you put your knee up on a stool. And you, you compare the two, you look at this one, then you can put this one up, and you look at that one, and the, oh my gosh, this one doesn't straighten as much as this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to focus on that one. And you may correlate with the one that you're having pain with. Right, exactly. It really works well if, you know, like an ottoman or if you have something that rolls a little bit that it actually helps. Uh, it's not necessary. Yeah, I think a rolling stool works really well. You can actually just go on the floor like yep. this too. Right, yep. If you're sitting at your desk and you got to get to the edge, it helps. And then you can give a little over pressure. Now, let's do it again. We do it from the side. I do it from this direction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. You're going to try it three different ways. You try it with the toes straight on, and then you pressure on, pressure off, toes turned out, and push on, pressure on, pressure off. This is the one that my wife worked. It helped her if we, she turned her leg out. Sure. And it kind of hits the mi inside of the knee mm -hmm. more often. Now, you can also turn the leg in for more for the outside of the knee. And pressure on, pressure off. So you don't have to do all three. No. It's, you might just find one that clearly you pick helps. pick up the one that works the best. Then focus on that one. And you're going to do it 10 times, pressure on, pressure off, usually pressing right above the kneecap. Yeah, if you go on the kneecap, it can irritate the kneecap. You'll, it's just not comfortable. All right, this is the new one that I saw, Brad, that they actually threw a pillow down on the floor. I'm curious to see how you look on this one. And, uh, and oh, you mean the, the one we got yeah, in here? Yeah, we just did, yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, so where I get held up here is my ankle. I don't have good mobility in my ankle. Yeah, real they don't point. flatten up. Yeah, so, and this is, you're not the only one like that, Bob. That's pretty typical as we uh, get a little mine older. Mine are bad. So you're actually stretching the ankle and the knee, mm -hmm. but you're trying to put your butt on your heels. Right, yeah. Uh, mm. Does that hurt? I feel a little bit. Then. Yeah. It's not, not pain, stretching pain. Can you just do kind of one at a time and focus on one you ankle? You could even go like this, start in a quadruped position sure. and start working back like that. Yep. And, yeah, I'm kind of working on one knee right now. More so on this left yeah, one. Yeah, this is... one's out, out to the side. Sure, yep. Yeah, I'll go this way once. Red. This one's out to the side. So now all the stress is happening in this one. Sure. But as busy people, a lot of times you want to do both. Sure. You can work your way back like this. And you can do this with your shoes off as well, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I know like the tips of your shoes are kind of sticking on the, yeah, a little on bit. the carpet. And I think in the book they show her with without shoes on. Yeah. So but 10 times again and pressure on, pressure off. So those out of the seven, um, you know, try them and see which ones work for you. Uh, see which ones, I mean, it's amazing. As you gain motion in your knee, quite often the pain levels go down. All right. Things loosen up. And you know, Bob, how I feel about the number seven. Yeah, you're, you can't you're go in love wrong. with it. You can't go wrong with the number seven. It's complete, Bob. It's a well, complete I wonder number. if you should get, you know, married six more times or something like that. But No, that, no, that, 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 that doesn't to apply to that. That would make <laughs> life pretty uh, challenging. Yeah, I would. <laughs> seven wives. 
Seven wives for seven men. There's a movie. Seven, there there is. Yeah, there's a couple. Seven brothers, right? Seven brother for seven. Seven wives for seven brothers. Yeah, I think yeah. That was. I, I matter of fact, uh, I remember that. That was an old one. movie. Yeah. Well, anybody remember that? It'll yeah. Be chick, Comment below. It. Yeah. Be careful. Though. Remember, Rad and I can oh, fix yeah. about anything except for a broken heart. Right. Uh, we're working on it. Exactly. Watch that movie. That'll help. It's on this side, right? Uh, don't worry <laughs> about it, Bob. It's all <laughs> arbitrary.